Let's go ahead and rock and roll. A woman is a burden to a man. This is something that maybe many of you know instinctively, but I'm going to break down all of the aspects of this. And I hope the ladies are listening closely because it will help them understand how they should really conduct themselves and the fact that they need to be deeply thankful. Yes, deeply thankful for the blessing of having a man. Deeply thankful. There are a variety of ways that you find that the human female is in fact a burden. I'm speaking to the men and women in attendance. For the ladies, you should take this into consideration and make wise choices on how you will conduct yourself over your lifetime. Because your goal as a woman should be to find a man who will care for you over a lifetime. I didn't say necessarily provide financially, but care for you. There are a multitude of values that a real man offers to a woman. Finances is the least of which, and in fact is not a necessity for the proper role of a man, is as a leader, a wise guide, an emotional rock. Huh? Not as a bank account or a financial source. But why does the human female look to the male as a provider? Well, it's because they're quite expensive, and that is true no matter where you go in the world. Let's get into it. How are they a burden? You ever walked into a woman's bathroom, looked around like, what are all these products? I remember I was in Dubai, finished dealing with this Kazakh girl, and then I go ahead and I'm about to shower up. It's like a so many trinkets, products, and all this stuff. It was concerning like you get in my shower all you will see is some man and woman brand.com body wash that's it hand and body wash you'll see one bottle of man and woman brand.com hand and body wash that's it you're not going to see anything else there inside that shower inside of her shower you got conditioners and shampoos and color keeping things and frizziness reducing products and all these things it's expensive to be a woman what is known as a woman today is actually a creation in part of science and in part of modern capitalism science all of these chicks nowadays they've injected their lips to inflate them implants here you know chin implant jaw restructuring all this stuff they're a science project and what you silly males think is a woman is in fact not a woman which is to say the makeup the lashes and the lipstick that's not a woman those are products products does not make someone a woman huh and you see that the males who try to dress as women, they are, they're female impersonators. They don't become women when they use products, but you have become so confused that you think what the woman spins to create a certain aesthetic is itself expressive of femininity, and it is not. So I want to teach everyone today what a woman is, and the truth is even a good woman is a burden. A burden, yes. They're costly, costly emotionally. Costly in time, huh? Costly in your safety, huh? We're going to get into it today, ladies and saints. So number one, on the financial side, females are extraordinarily expensive. You go in their bathroom, you see a thousand and one products. Plus, they got to go get their nails done, get their toes done, get their hair done. We're in a strange, sick society where you think that you don't know how to do your own hair. It's strange that you can't do your own grooming. Grooming and cleanliness is a basic. How is it that you think you can't do it yourself, be you male or female? We got a lot of males in the chat as well. Go to the hairdresser. Uh -huh. Capitalism has rotted your brains. And I say this as a proud capitalist businessman and entrepreneur. They're expensive, these women. And they have to keep up all of the fake things that make them feel relevant and valued in the society because females only believe themselves to be sex objects. That's what they think of themselves, but they project and lie and claim that men objectify them. Yeah, they project. We don't objectify you, love. You objectify yourself with those denim shorts up your behind. You objectify yourself constantly wearing spandex like you don't know of any other materials. You constantly objectify yourself by wearing those see-through leggings. You objectify yourself 
because you know your only value is physical for most of you. Furthermore, they're trinket obsessed, which is to say that they will have you spend a fortune on things that matter not. Trinkets, conspicuous consumption. Oh, you can't marry her until you get a wedding ring and spend three months of your salary on something that goes on her finger, which in actual fact, if most of those wedding rings were real and they actually were three months worth of a man's salary, all these chicks should be getting robbed left and right. It's a clear store of value. It's very easy to take, and it's small enough that you could put it in your pocket after you take it. These chicks should be getting robbed left and right. You want something that expensive sitting on your finger. It's a token of what? A token of love or a token of your man's foolish sacrifice? I condemn every last one of you fools, male and female, that would spend a fortune on a ring to put on a woman's finger to symbolize your love and dedication. Your love and dedication comes in you being there for her. Your love and dedication comes in you giving her your last name. Your love and dedication comes from you building a family. Huh? Doesn't come from an object. But many of them are users and gold diggers. True burdens. Every woman is a burden. Men, pick the level of problem that you want. They're trinket obsessed. On Valentine's Day, they want something. On their birthday, they want something. On Christmas, they want something. On any other day, they want something. That something is never love, loyalty, companionship. It's material, isn't it? It's going to cost you, isn't it? Huh? And in addition to the many trinkets they want, candy, flowers, plushies, pillows, stuffed animals, all things that don't make money, all things that don't add real comfort to life, all things that are temporary and truly a waste of money. Oh, they're expensive burdens. Then what they want more than that are activities. They want to go on a trip. We need to go on vacation, which means that you guys are both going to stop working, stop earning, and you're going to increase your expenses. Because you have your car that you're paying for that you're not driving because you're out on holiday. You have a job you're not working. You have a house you're not inhabiting that you're paying rent on, but you're out on holiday paying for expensive hotels. She wants to go on vacation as long as possible and as extravagantly as possible. And when she goes on vacation, is it about relaxation? Is it about connection? Or do we have to do all the activities? Oh, don't you want to go, like, ride the sand dunes on four-wheelers? Oh, let's ride horses in the ocean. Like, I saw that on Instagram. They want to do every activity. I hear there's a waterfall, like, three hours away. We just have to pay $300 to take a tour guide bus over there. They want to do all the activities. I tell you, women, you go to dinner with them, maybe 30% of them even say thank you for the dinner. You ever notice that when the check is about to come out, they all say this line? Oh, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Right when the check comes, you want to go to the bathroom. Does it feel uncomfortable when the check comes and you don't contribute anything? Is that uncomfortable to sit there and do nothing while the bill gets paid from my labor? They're a burden. Huh? Now, you might say, Marquette, are, are men not a burden? No. No, we're not. They're a financial burden. But that's not it. That's not all. In addition to that, they have other burdens that they come with, and the benefits are increasingly minimal. They don't want to cook. They don't want to follow directions. They don't want to clean. They think these things are beneath them. Oh, we'll hire someone to clean. No, that's why I got you. Huh? Not to clean up after me, but clean the common areas. Keep the place in good condition. You, woman, would like to live in comfort, don't you? They don't know what it is to stack up. They don't know what it is to build up. They want to go straight to the top at your expense on your dollar. Huh? I find it so fascinating that women so quickly adjust to a certain lifestyle. Recently, Dumb Dingbat Broad, you can check out the exclusive on this broad uh, at thesassin.com, T-H-E-S-A-S-N.com. Had to kick her out. She was, she was worthless. Many of them are. And when I was kicking her out, she asked me to call her an Uber, asked me to call her the nice Uber, you know, like an Uber black or Uber executive, whatever they're called. And I said, no, no, if I were to call you an Uber, you're going to get the you're going to get the budget one. You're a, that's who you, you're a low budget woman. Why, why do you think you should get the Uber black or the Uber executive? Because that's what I ride. Well, I ride that because I'm balling. You're not balling. Be yourself. Huh? 
Yeah, they get with a man and think that all of a sudden they are something that they're not. Uh-huh. It's extraordinary.